Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our previous episode, our adventurers began sailing towards Summersdale, and they encountered an abandoned houseboat that they ended up exploring, and they found a remnant of something connected to Theron's task. Uh, nothing has been specified so far, but that is where we left off. So now our adventures are making their way further to Summersdale. Making my way downtown. Is there anything you guys would like to do while you're traveling? I will hit the captain. Okay. I will no, I'm okay. kidding. I will pester Faron for answers about his past. <laughs> yeah, let's let's have a group chat. I will just uh, I will uh, just read the journal. I will inspect the journal for any sort of clues. Okay. I'll just give you a, like the paper that says what all the notes are. Oh, neat! It's a really small journal. Uh, so uh, if no one else is, if no one's going to do anything else at the moment, then. I guess I'll just say you guys sail for a while. The waters again are weirdly calm. Not no storms, no big waves or anything like that. Every once in a while you see a dolphin jump out. Uh, so far they're not getting hit by ice. So. <laughs> a dead family of three floats nearby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no coincidence there. Uh, after a while you do see another uh, ship. But it, again, it's just stalled and sitting around the water. I do not and like this at all. You don't see on. anyone on top. Apparently we've uh, come across another abandoned vessel. Maybe there's more food. We should leave it. <laughs> I will ask if you guys are cool with going there just in case something's happened. And maybe to investigate if you can find out. I think you should. There's nice. been too many bad omens recently. What, what omens? And then you see a black cat jump over. <laughs> I'm going to stay on this boat. You guys can do what you want. What happens if we leave and then our boat is attacked and you'll be all alone? It's better than whatever's on that boat. And Ali would be staying on the ship just to make sure it stays where it is as well. Yeah, take off the one of bribes so that away. So, uh, you will, she's gonna, uh, approach the new ship with her ship. And put a anchor down as close as possible to the ship as you can. I'm gonna swing down again. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on his back again. So about a, <laughs> like maybe a minute before she is ready to set anchor, you're ready. you you've got the rope in your arms and you're ready to Tarzan your way over. Yeah, amazing. Do it. Uh, is anyone gonna grab onto him this time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> strength again? Yeah, strength. Then you have to defend with strength too. I rolled a nineteen. You got this. That's, isn't that what you rolled last time? No, I rolled a twenty last time. I'm just getting dope rolls. Yeah, that's a like. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nine. Yeah, he's grabbed onto you again. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I hope um, you fall off. I hope you jump off the rope. <laughs> 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 Um, uh, so please roll an athletics check, Tony, to see how well you jump over. And, uh, Lazarus. I mean, no, not, uh, Blaze, <gasps> sorry, I messed yeah. up the names. So uh, please roll a strength saving throw to see if you're able to hit on to, uh, uh, acrobatics or athletics? Uh, either. Rule of 22. Okay. Are you able to roll Eight. <laughs> Eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> That go the rope and put T the bomb will you into the water. <laughs> yeah, you, you swing like three quarters of the way to the ship, but, <laughs> Or no, uh, you swing, you swing all the way over, but don't let go, and the rope starts to swing back, and then you let go, and you land in the water about ten feet from the ship, with, uh, blaze on your back. <laughs> um, <laughs> you will be met with uh, sharp claws piercing into your shoulders as um, I flounder about against you. There is. Uh, when I land, do I land on my back? Like, cause he's on my back. Oh yeah, he, yeah, so he's just, on Is he just back. gonna hit the surface of yeah. the water with his whole back? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> you feel my claws sink into your flesh as I flounder about and cling to you desperately. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna get myself out of the water. Yeah, you are able to swim to the ship and get on, on board. Oh, like the, uh, the, the yeah, the one that you just approached. Okay. Yeah. And then Ali will uh, set the ship down as near the other ship as possible and then put down a thing. 
I do think it would be fun to swim over on the rope, but if I fall in the water, I will sink to the bottom, <laughs> so I'm just going to walk across. Try it, you can do it. <laughs> Why are you so bad at swinging? <laughs> I'm a plus six acrobatics, I probably should have just swung myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should have swung me and him. You could have latched onto your back. I had still like a plus four acrobatics, so oh, it's just yeah. a bad yeah. roll. So this ship is more of just a sailing ship? It does have, like, a cabin for the crew. It's not that large of one, so it'll probably have, like, a five-man crew. And when you get on board, you don't see nice. anyone. There is another, like, trap tour to go below decks, as well as the cabins in the back. Uh, might I suggest we check the cabins first this time? Save the best for last. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> You go into the cabins, and there are five of them. The first one, you assume would be probably the cabin captain's quarters. Just because it's, it's a bit intricate. Like, it has a really big bed. It has a bunch of sailing utensils, I guess. Or like, and also some artifacts on the walls or on shelves. Uh, there's a compass in on, in the middle of the desk as well. Uh, and you do find, like, the captain's journal, journal journal in his desk as well. And then, are you guys going to the next room, then? I'm going to read the mm-hmm. journal. Okay. Uh, so this is a really long journal. Like, you assume that it's captain's log long. for a long time. Okay, well, I'll just read the last few pages, because... Okay. These last two pages are dated as two days ago and yesterday. Okay. So two days ago, the journal talked about uh, how the seas were really pleasant and how they did run into... Uh, they were a bit further out from where you assume they were at now. Mm-hmm. And they did run into a couple of ships that, that were just abandoned. They didn't investigate them much because they were on a hurry to do some to uh go to an exchange for something. He wrote that it was weird that they were abandoned and that there were two of them. And the next page says uh talks about them seeing uh two more as they came close so closer to shore. And then uh the writing just stops in the middle of a sentence. Something tells me this place is Haunted. <laughs> Seems like whatever happened to the last ship happened to this one. Serial kidnapping or some such thing. But they don't seem to... You can't really call them serial kidnappers. Uh, they don't have a fixation. Uh, a certain um, aspect in their victims. These are all random. How do you know? Well, well for one, this is ocean. a crew of men. Uh, last time it was a family of three with a little little girl. Yeah, but they're all sailors. I suppose we could say that. Perhaps, yes, someone is, um, really likes to kidnap boat people. Uh, observation. <laughs> a weird fixation, but, uh, perhaps we should be wary. Uh, we don't want to get kidnapped. Maybe they just like seafood. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, yes, clever quip. Uh, clever, yes. On, uh, I'll move on to the next room. Okay. Uh, the next one would be probably the. Uh, first mate's room. Okay, so this room looks a bit, uh, as if someone left in a real hurry. So there are clothes on the ground, uh, there's a couple of glasses or bo- broken beer bottles on the ground, and you actually do see a note on the floor. What's the note say? Uh, the note says, someone's here, I don't know who. I don't know what they want, and that's where it leaves off. Serial kidnappers. <laughs> Does it say who it's by? Probably the first mate. Uh, <laughs> no, it is not signed by anyone. Uh, oh, I see. What you're yeah. Cool. Um, is there anything else in that room? Uh, With, uh taking the oath? Not really, no. Alright, on to the next. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next three rooms are kind of the same. Uh, in the, it's just other crew ca- cabins and their second and a third mate. And the fourth all they've got are room. beds, some clothes, like a desk, and that's really all. 
Uh, in them you do find a few, like, trinkets that some, that the crewmates probably just had for themselves. Maybe a little bit of treasure, so probably around 20 gold pieces divided through the three rooms. And, uh, you also find a couple of weapons. So in one of the rooms was a scimitar, and the other you find, uh, two daggers. Just regular daggers, though. Cool. I'm not gonna take any of it. <laughs> yeah. No reason for me to take anything. Uh, perhaps we should, uh, make our way back to the boat. I think we've seen all we need to see here. Clearly, uh, there is a serial ghost kidnapping monster. Why would you say serial? You said serial. Anyway, I'm gonna cast Detect Magic just, you know, to okay. confirm whether it was the same as last time or not. Yeah, you do detect this. Is a, it's a bit faint, but you do detect some kind of movement magic, so either Dimension Door, Missy Stuff, or something more powerful even. Alright. Yeah. You don't detect any attacking magic or anything like that. It was making me think. Uh, back when we were in uh, Stillsby, I encountered the Tiefling dude. And he used Dimension Door, so maybe it has something to do with him. Maybe it's that <laughs> um, guy with the handlebar mustache. <laughs> he's come back for us. That's, same, same that's the one he's talking about. <laughs> he's the main, is that the guy? Yeah, the no, tiefling. The tiefling. Yeah. Oh, that's right, sorry. Yeah. yeah. He's the main <laughs> villain, I just know it. <laughs> yeah. That was actually Shabba He's dog. behind <laughs> everything. <laughs> him and his mustache. Uh, so that's really all of significance that you find in, in the cabins. I'm still in the crow's now. Okay. Uh, as you look through the, uh, as you're in the coast, as you do see quite far away, like probably, like three kilometers away, maybe a little, a little bit more, you do see two ships dock together. And please roll, a uh, perception check. Yes. That's a dirty 20. Okay. Uh, from your vantage point, you see, at this moment, about five people in, uh, Four, no, four people in red cloaks and one in a black cloak boarding the other ship. Um, I, uh, uh, Captain! Yes, yes, Cap- yes! I, I change the voice every time. <laughs> there's a, uh, there's a couple of ships up ahead. Um, she kind of looks and is like, a little dark together. Oh, you're right, you're right. Uh, they notice that, uh, there's, uh, they're wearing red and black cloaks. I don't know if that means anything to you. It could be, Cultists, perhaps. It's the red and black cloak gang. Are they <laughs> are they dangerous? Are uh, they cause they trouble? Can be. <coughs> like I've known people to be overwhelmed by them. Do they listen to reason? Uh, they could, but they might just want gold, and that might be all they want. Easy enough. Okay, thank you. Um. Oh, oh would you do me another favor and yes. let um my companions know what's going on as well with the, with the boats? Of course, of course, of course. Uh, would you be able to stay? Uh, at the wheel here, and just keep it... You, you want me to drive the boat? You just have to keep it where it is. The anchor is down, so it shouldn't move much. I just... All right, yes, I, I can do that. Great, great, great. <laughs> and then I'll climb down and go to the wheel. And she'll just, like... Just hold on to it. Uh, she'll burst off running <laughs> to the next ship. Um, how do I... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it in park? <laughs> <laughs> just pull the anchor out. <laughs> Where's the e-brake on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> and she'll go to the uh this next trip and just tell you guys that there are what looks like cultists boarding a ship up ahead. Pretty far ahead, though. Let's go investigate. Perhaps these are our mysterious kidnappers. Yeah, it could be. Do you guys want to go there right now, try to fight off the cultists? Yeah, yeah. always. I mentioned a fight. Yeah. Well, they're on the other boat. I'm just gonna kind of slow jiggle the thing down there, just to <laughs> see what it feels like. <laughs> You're gonna move it away from the other ship that it's a, the boat flips over. Yeah. <laughs> the boat is now flipped over. What have you done? <laughs> As you're doing this, you notice the tank is kind of sliding back and forth. Uh, okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you just take off. Like, Raise the anchor that. and take the boat. We never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the story of Fair on Worst Route. <laughs> Uh, so Allie will put down the anchor of this ship too, and then go back on board her ship, and we'll wait for you guys to come. She's not gonna join us? Like, she's gonna, like, take you guys on the ship to the ship that's being boarded by cultists. Oh, okay. oh good, you're, you're back. Um, yes, yes. Here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Good job, good job. Right, okay, I'll be back up. Okay. Stairs. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, will, you, will you be wanting to join and trying to do something about these cultists? Um, tell me more about these cultists. Uh, so they are the cult of the Black Knight. And that sounds dangerous. That sounds awesome. Uh, a lot of violence. There is sometimes violence. Like if they don't get what they want, they do turn to violence. But oftentimes they just threat threaten people in order to get what they want. Well, um, I'll, I'll do my best to try and help, but uh, I'm not killing anyone. No, no. Great, 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 great. And she'll just wait for you guys to finish up it on the ship you're looking at. I knew these omens would bring bad tidings. Okay, Dean Winchester. Uh, <laughs> what omens? What, what, what omens? <laughs> Who's Dean Winchester? <laughs> From Supernatural. Yeah, yeah good show. In the game. Oh. <laughs> you don't know that yet. <laughs> we could come across someone. You notice one of the cultists looks exactly like Dean Winchester. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wayne Dean So Chester. handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so are you boarding the main ship again? Yeah, yeah, we're okay. back. Okay, I will take down the tank and set, set sail for the next ship. Uh, as you look towards the two ships, you do notice that cultists have seen you guys too. Do I know that they've seen us? No, no, no. Yeah. We were so sneaky. Um, we've been <laughs> spotted. <laughs> Sorry. Too bad we couldn't stealth the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Is this ship have is armed with any like uh can cannons at all? She says No no it does not, but I'm sure we can do something about it. Oh, we, can take this. <laughs> we can take this easy, the the reasonable group people we can we can talk to them. I, can't, a common I can't ground. hear you we can, from down here. <laughs> we can find a common ground with these people. I'm I sure my daggers. I climb yeah. down from the crow's nest. Okay. Throw, your, throw your daggers at them. Are we twenty feet away? Uh no, right then now, I'm not throwing my you're probably about, you're getting pretty closer, so you're about like 50 feet away now. Uh, you notice that the cultist ship does not actually have cannons on either. Oh. Uh, See, no cannons, no so violence. We can abort, we can board and attack. Exactly. No, not attack, <coughs> no. We can talk to them, we can reason. We I'm can gonna find kill solution. one of them! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna please don't do that. Situate myself up on the top deck by the steering wheel and uh, damn it, grab a rope <laughs> and get ready to swing. No, I'll please. grab onto his back. <laughs> oh, God, Jesus! <laughs> uh, at this point, you do notice that the cultists who went on to the other <clears throat> ship are now making their way back to their own ship with some treasures and trinkets and gold and stuff. Uh, See, it's fine. They're just grabbing supplies. They robbed those people. Are there any other people? Yeah, I guess there's other people on the boat. Um, we're gonna get those guys. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, uh, are, oh, how are you getting on this ship? On my back. I'm gonna swing my rope. Yeah, we're, we're gonna swing the rope. <laughs> and we're gonna jump up and we're gonna land right on top of the cultists. Okay, yeah, so. That, that sounds like a excellent <laughs> strength check. <laughs> yeah. Where, are you allowing him to get on your back this time? Yeah, okay. I just accepted it at this point. <laughs> yeah. Let's have you do a athletics or a acrobatics check to swing, and Clayton, I'll have you roll a uh, strength check to like, hang on. That 20, I baby! Got a 19. Okay, cool. Name's so you hang on. So, uh, Al Al Rindal, uh you swing, and you get off at the perfect moment of the swing, you do like a back flip off, land on your feet with him on your back, yeah, and you happen to land right behind one of the cultists. Now that's and, what I'm talking about! And as I land, I go, charm. hello there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you've woken up. <laughs> uh, Excellent! That was a beautiful execution. Uh, I'll go you know, to the edge of the boat and watch At them. this point, just to make things interesting, yeah. I'm going to cast Fog Cloud on the enemy ship. Nice. So everything is covered in fog. I cannot <laughs> see! <laughs> I'll, pull, I'll pull up my daggers again, and I'm going to stab the nearest cultist in his throat. Wow. Uh, Both daggers. I'm swing my long sword as well. The same guy? Uh, since you guys are right behind him, I allow you to... Get that out of initiative. We we mean no harm. <laughs> okay, so the first. Oh god. And uh, you have advantage since 
He's got a stature. Please don't do this. Okay, so the... Fuck. Alright. Uh, <laughs> I rolled uh, a 9 on the first one, and a... Or a death, so... Yeah, 9 on the first one, and an 18 on the second one. Yeah. Yeah, you hit with the 18. 18? Yeah. Okay. Are you using the Diamond Dagger? Yes. Okay. I hit at 16. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Uh, oh, 7 damage. Okay. And then, <laughs> uh, what do I add with it again? Sorry, if it's just with my uh, sword. So your long sword will be a strength. Yeah. Okay, so that's 4. Cool. Nice. So, You're 11 one. damage. Okay. We're done good. That was, that, <laughs> he's still alive. That went very well, though. Actually, surprisingly yeah. about us. Yeah, we we nailed that landing, and then we multi-stabbed we... him. Yeah. <laughs> you just held on. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you flipping? <laughs> I'm still here. I lost the voice. Never okay, it. so what would the rest of you guys like to do? So just at the edge of the boat, watching them. Okay. I'm going to put down the gang yeah, plank. They're just yeah, going to draw my two long swords and rush across it. Okay. I will also go the other boat. Okay. How far? How far Wait, is the you boat? Come. It's a bad omen. <clears throat> like if I'm at the edge, yeah. how far am I away from the nearest guy? That's say what they would be. Uh, I'd say pro- I'd say within thirty feet. Cool. What you should have done is you should have stayed in the crow's nest and then hopped off of it. And like air attack a guy. You know that takes some fall damage on that one. <laughs> Not if you land on the the cultist. But yeah, I will stop at the end of our plank, like right at the edge of their boat, and I'll just stand stand there, not wanting to go on their okay. boat. <laughs> so like on the game plank, plank or on It's your like boat? it's like right on the end on the end of on their boat too much. Like yeah. on at the end of the plank on their boat. Okay. Uh, so if you guys are going to attack them more, I'll have you guys roll initiative. You do notice that the one you attack is a lot more buff than the other ones. He's ripped. Yeah. For your pleasure. Um, he's and back he's, back. he's the one with the back though. So. I rolled um, 18. Since I'm not really going in, should I roll as well too? Uh, might as well. 14. 13. I got 4. But, uh, while I am, like, crossing over the boat, can I cast another spell? Like, area of effect still? Uh, I'll have that be on your turn. Okay. Did your fog work? I saw some that. Yeah, yeah, did that. Yeah, okay. Fog cloud. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah. We can't, they can't see us, but we can see them, I guess. No one can see anything. <laughs> oh, does the vision only affect people you choose? Sure. No, it's. Pretty sure fog cloud just blinds fog everything. Cloud, yeah. 20 foot radius to your fog. Yeah, it blinds everything. The oh. area is heavily obscured. Lost for an hour. Or until the wind picks up. Dope. So on this ship, you see the one cultist with a black cloak and then the four others in red cloaks. And first to go will be Blaze. Uh, of course I'll take my dagger, I'll slide it out of his body. Uh, and then I will. Use Fist of Unbroken Air. Okay, what does that do? Uh, so that is a key attack using the way of the four Wait, elements. Because you're using Fist of Unbroken Air, so. Yes. Do I need to do anything for that? Uh, yes. One second, I'll double check. Uh, you have to make a strength saving throw. Okay, what do I have to beat? You have to beat 11. You got, uh, which one are you attacking? The, the black one. The one I stabbed. Yeah, uh, he got a 16. 16? Okay, so, uh, on a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage as normal. Okay. I used all three of my key points, so he takes 4d10, but he only takes half of it. 4d10. 4d10. Uh, that's 4d10. Uh, that's 4d10. Um, so that was a 10. You saw that shit. You saw that shit. That was a 7. That was another 7, so 14, 24, to 26. Half of that is 13. Okay. So he takes 13 damage, and he is not pushed prone. Okay. But I do insult him a little bit. Tell him his cloak is, uh, so I'm sorry, that cloak <laughs> is ugly! <laughs> <laughs> so are you! Black does not look good on you! <laughs> and then I'll use all my movement speed to back up. Back up. So I can move okay. 40, 
Is it 40? Yeah, I can, I can run back 40 feet. So I'll run 40 feet away from him. And... Uh, you run into the water. Oh, well, <laughs> no. never mind. Oh, am I good? Not a boat. No, you're good. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're drowning, but. <laughs> Jokes whoa, whoa, on you. Whoa, whoa. You can't run 40 feet. Uh, and I still beat the compass to attack you. I mean, that he just attacked. Uh, he is going to use. Inflict wounds, I think. Can someone hand me the player's handbook? Oh, that's not good. I know that I spell. So I think it's a, uh, a goal to hit. Make a melee spell attack against a creature you can reach. Uh, and you are, yeah, I guess you're 40 feet away, so he won't be able to attack you, but he will attack Tony since he's here, or he'll attack Aelrindal since he's the next closest. Awesome possum. You got this, man. Yeah, I can do it, I think. Hopefully. What is your AC? Uh, I think it's... Got a 22, so... Good yeah, thing mine was 23. <laughs> no, it's not 13. Okay, so 3d10. That's not even... Oh. You can't even bring that back. You can't heal from that. I only take 3 d Uh, that is 21 damage. And you so can't I'm... heal from that. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah, when it's necrotic damage, you can't heal from Oh, okay. Those hit points are gone. Yeah. Burn. I think it takes it's a long time. No, only if it says that in the spell description. It's oh. a necrotic damage. Yeah. Yeah, but... Yeah. Necrotic damage is just necrotic damage. There's some spells that actually drain your hit point max. Oh. And it actually says that in the oh, spell. I thought, I thought that's what necrotic damage is. That's 26? Uh, I think so. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it was... Uh, 21. Ah, uh, that's better. I have... It's because some uh, undead are resistant to necrotic. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, okay, that makes sense. Uh, and he'll just laugh at you after that and make, like, Crazy mechan- maniacal laugh. Uh, and next it will be Baron. Oh boy. Okay. So, how do I look in terms of where the enemies are and where I am? Uh, you see all of them. So mm-hmm. you're on, uh, the main ship, right? You're not on Yeah, I'm still on places. our ship. I'm like at the edge of it. Though. Okay. Uh, so there is the Black Cloak who's somewhat close to, uh, the edge. He's like right beside Tony. He's within probably 20 feet of you. Mm-hmm. Then there's another cultist within 30 feet, who's a bit further back, and then one that's about 40 feet to the right, and then one that's 20 feet to the left, on, like, his ship. Okay, I'm going to cast Firebolt at the one that's right by Tony. Okay, the black cloak? Yeah, the black cloak. Really buff boy. Uh, it would probably be, like, 30 feet that. wide. No, 40 feet wide by about 70 feet, maybe 80 feet. 13. 13? You hit? That's exactly what you needed. I well, panicked because that's why you rolled a 1, and I was like, oh no, <laughs> like I'm right beside him. Ah, that is 8 fire damage. You kill him. <laughs> I sizzle him. Yeah, uh, you sizzle him, and while he's sizzling, he's just laughing maniacally. I thought you weren't going to kill anybody. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and oh my god, you killed that man! <laughs> <laughs> need to happen sometime. Next it'll be Ailrego. Alright, um, so now that guy is dead. Um, who is the next closest guy? Like, who's close? Uh, there was a guy about 15 feet to the left, one about 10 feet further back, and then one about 20 feet to the right. Um... Wait, would I know where they are? Because it's so foggy. Oh, enough. yeah, you actually don't see them then. Uh, so I guess... You do know there are four cultists left, though. Okay. Um, can I just slowly move forward, like, 20 feet or so? Or can I just, like, keep moving forward with my like sword? Just out? trying to find a guy? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, just roll a survival check, I guess. 15. Yeah, you're able to find one. I'm gonna attack that guy with my long sword. That's a ten, but I'm gonna use one of my maneuvers and add d4 to that. So that is a ten. Is it a d? Sorry, it's a d8. And I can add to it. So that is uh seventeen. Yeah. Wait, no, no, that's a zero. Okay, all right, never mind. So that zero's a ten. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. But this is a. That's a D ten. That's a D ten. So zero's ten. It's supposed to be a D eight. Oh, 
<clears throat> Sorry. What am I doing? No Twelve. You hit. Yay! Twelve was what you needed. Mm-hmm. Damn. Nice. Okay, sweet. Come to the clutch. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> four. Four. <laughs> nice. What about me? You're taking about one at a time. Uh, next will be Rain. Ryan. Ryan or Lumenheim. Dwarves are very dangerous at short distance. Just like, uh, well, this <clears> time. <throat> um, how well would I know, like, where everybody is? Like, we saw it where they were before. Yeah, I guess, uh, but... you would probably have disadvantage mm-hmm. when trying to, or wait, uh, you're on the ship, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, you could do a survival check, I guess, to try to find someone as you okay. are. I guess I'm going to go. Or is... perception, I guess. 16, I don't know. 16? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you do find one. Cool. Um, I will cast, okay, let me see here, Guiding Bolt, and I get Nathan. Yeah, that hits. 17 damage. 17? Yes. You murder him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are killing this! <laughs> and them. Um, Sorry. Then... don't even know if they're evil. They're cultists. They actually, just yeah. um, they just rob somebody. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, they engage in You know they rob them. And you do recognize their cloaks as oh, okay. the cult of the Black Knight. That's good. I was a little worried for a second. Uh, next is one of the cultists. They're actually it's all children. Try to find one of you. He doesn't. So he's just gonna fire blindly. He misses. Uh, next is a different cultist. Uh, doesn't find anyone. So he'll fire blindly. Oh, Misses. And then it is Lazarus's turn. Is there anything you want to do? No, I'm not going to go on. I'm not going to touch the boat, so I'm just going to stand there. Okay. <laughs> see if I can see how the battle's going. Okay. Interesting. Uh, every once in a while you do hear like a yell of pain, or like an arrow fly by, or like something, a Flash sword hit fire something. Room. See or like, like a, footsteps, but that's really all that you hear. It's like the cartoon. Okay. All you see is like this big, like several clouds and like swirling and stars yeah. and like swear words. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, next is the other cultist. He's gonna search, find someone, and he will find you're you're still on. The, I'm still on the, the first ship, right? Yeah. Okay, so he'll find uh, Blaze. He gods! <laughs> and he's gonna use a center on you. On you. He misses. It's a good thing you got a history. Uh, <laughs> uh, next it is back up to Blaze. I, uh, turning to the man who just attacked me and missed. I'll be like, you made a grave error. <laughs> I'm gonna bore you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stab <laughs> into my knowledge. <laughs> Time for a history lesson of pain. Uh, nice. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stab him in the throat. Uh, no, okay. with, with my diamond <laughs> dagger. <laughs> I rolled a, ooh, 22. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's d4 plus 3. Uh, so 5 damage. And then, since with my martial arts, if I use a monk weapon, which is any simple weapon that isn't heavy or two-handed, so yeah. dagger, I get to make a bonus action, an arm strike. So I will use my cat's claws on him. Roll the nat 20. So I deal them with damage. Uh, so that is 1d4 plus my strength. So that's 5. 5, so 10 damage. So you, you 14 total. Yeah. yeah. Oh, lesson over! <laughs> 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 and he like, kind of falls like in cartoons when someone gets hit and they kind of just look and they have like birds flying over their heads <laughs> for a moment and then just falls that back. Uh, next it'll be, because he's dead, uh, it'll be Farron's turn. Huh. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, this fog is quite annoying. Okay, I'm going to cast Gust of Wind and blow it straight at the fog okay. on the ship. Okay. Um, that has a Bro. <laughs> range of 60 feet. I love how I was worried I wasn't going to find anyone, but someone came to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a range of 60 feet and it's 10 feet wide. Okay, yeah, uh, oh, you cast sure. that and it blows the fog all away. Now, if anyone is in that direction, <laughs> they have to make a con save of 14. Dude, why? <laughs> or, okay, no, strength save of 14. Because we killed already a lot of them. Okay, okay. so, 
the two cultists, cultists will have to do them. And then Ryan, Elrendal, Blaze, and Lazarus will have to do as well. Uh, strength 14? Yeah. I'm yeah. totes not gonna make that. I want you guys to know. Saving throw? Okay. Con. Strength saving throw. Yeah, strength saving throw. Oh, okay. Con's the other one I was thinking. Oh, 22! Both of our right. cultists fail. Oh, nice. 19. That is 17. Nice. I got a 10. Yeah, everyone lived except Lazarus! <laughs> <laughs> so everyone I have who... a plus 5. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that do? That pushes everyone who failed 15 feet away. <laughs> like 1-5? 15? 15 feet away. Actually, you push me onto the boat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, and the cultists are still on the boat, they were just pushed pretty on the... back. One was knocked against the railing, but that's all. I and think they're next, not it'll be Ail Rendell's turn. Look them up. So there's a two left, right? <laughs> yeah. And they were pushed 15 feet against the rails? Yep. Okay. One of them was. Oh, okay. I'm going to go after him and attack. Actually, um, I'm going to shoot my longbow at him. Why not? That's your middle one? Yep. Yeah. Is that also just a 1d8? Like, it's the same? Because you said it was plus yeah, 30 feet. Yeah, it's the same, yeah. Okay. It just has long range. That's fair. Um, that's an eight. That misses. Cool. Next will be Ryan. Okay. So there's two left. Yep. Whereabouts are they? And, like, where is everybody else? Uh, there's one that is, like, straight across from the plankway. The plankway is still there. <laughs> Somehow it survived the wind. Uh, and the one cultist is directly back, uh, like, opposite of that. Uh, he hit the rail on the other side. Okay. And the other cultist is... About 20 feet to the right and 15 feet back from the edge. Okay. I'm, 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 one of them is right against the rail of the ship. Yeah. Right? Okay, well, I'm going to go with that one and use Thunder Wave on you. Okay. Um, it's a con save. That's a con save, yeah. You failed. Okay. <laughs> And damage. Yes. And I also blow his dead corpse into the water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Savage! That's <laughs> just the way it goes. And there's a big ass boom. Okay. Uh, and next it'll be, uh, Lazarus. Lazarus. So There's I got blown there. like 15 feet. And yeah. he's like. He's about 20 feet to the right of you. Okay. Is he in between me and the gangplank, pretty much? No, uh, <laughs> no, he's gonna do it. You're like close to the center, like almost the exact center of the ship. He's in the center of the ship, but to the right one. And the plank is to your left. Were you gonna just shut him down? No, okay. I was gonna like run, attack him, and just keep. But I'm gonna yell out, One and I run chairs! <laughs> and, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna charge at him with my two long swords and just go to town. Okay. So, good rolls. I got a 11 and a 17. 17. 17 hits. Okay. 39 damage. You kill him. And he, uh, he kind of just stands there as you thrust your sword through his gut. He looks down, looks at you, and his eyes start to close slowly. And he just falls. And then I'll give him a little kick off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and you have killed all the cultists who were on this ship. We straight murdered that, guys. <laughs> that was epic. And that is where we'll leave off on this episode. We'll see you next time on Nat 20.